All right, I wanted to try to do this in one take and just share some kind of unfiltered thoughts here to try um, try to see one, if it can encourage anyone, and then two, here if any of you guys resonate with this. So over the last several months, I feel like there have been so many things back to back that have happened. I mean, whether it's sickness in the family, holidays, Arctic blast, low ling lingering IFR, huge winds, aircraft maintenance, like all of it, it's just been like the perfect storm of things that it's like, oh, nope, couldn't fly this week. Oh, oh nope, couldn't fly that week. Um, and so I've flied, I've flied, I have flown some, um, but but I feel like I'm just experiencing a setback over the last couple months in terms of like my flying consistency. And I felt a little hypocritical about that given that I have an aviation YouTube channel, but then I thought, man, I think this would be helpful to get out in the open and hopefully encourage other people with. I've got some notes over here that I just, um, since this is kind of just me doing this a little unfiltered. So if I look over here, that's why. But I feel like it can be really discouraging to have setbacks that feel like they're outside of your control. Cause I don't feel like it's been for lack of effort um, from my part. And then it's really easy to then compare yourself to others on social media and assume that everyone else like never encounters bad weather or aircraft maintenance or sickness or whatever. And I even did a video a while ago about this talking about like the 10 commandments of watching aviation YouTube channel. YouTube channels, and one of them was, hey, don't compare yourself to everyone else, and also don't assume that everyone else has it all together. But I just wanna raise my hand and say, like, I, as someone who has a YouTube channel, like, I still really struggle with that. And so the last couple of months, I've kind of been beating myself up over that. Um, and so I just wanna raise my hand and say, if you feel that way, you are not alone, because I too feel that. But I feel like I've found a few things that have been helpful that I wanted to share in this video, in case it's an encouragement to you. And the first thing that I've noticed that it's helpful is just getting it out in the open. So I've been really processing this with my wife and my community group at church and my my friends and stuff, just saying like, man, I just I just feel like the last couple months, like not not just in flying, but in, in other areas of you know work or you know personal health, like fitness or whatever. Like I just I just feel like I've I've had some setbacks, and I feel like just hearing other people encourage you through that, and and even just for them not to give you all the practicals of like, well, have you implemented this or this, but them just say like yeah, I can understand why that would weigh you down or that would be frustrating. Like it's it's helpful just to just to not bottle that up and it's helpful to process that with others. And the second thing that I found helpful is really to focus on the inputs and not so much the outputs. So uh, a popular voice in the entrepreneurship space, Alex Hormozy, one of the things he says that I really like is that measuring outputs is only useful if we're consistent with the inputs. So instead of you know focusing so much on the outcomes or, or what am I accomplishing or whatnot, it's, it's probably better um, as a starting point to focus on what your inputs are. Um, and so I've been doing this for a while. I have a spreadsheet um, to basically track what I'm doing on a daily and weekly basis. It is really helpful to have some accountability of like, hey, if I'm not happy with the outputs over the last couple of months, I can look back and say, well, what have I done? What have been the inputs? Another thing I've started to do on top of that that's been really helpful has been kind of reviewing last week and understanding how do I want to tweak this upcoming week. I have, there's three questions I ask myself. One is, okay, last week, what worked? What did I feel like was helpful? Maybe that I did better, maybe that resonated with me or felt like produced better results. Second question is, what didn't work? So was there some roadblock or some some way that I was approaching work or the order in which I was approaching work or the way that I managed my schedule? It could be anything like that or more. What didn't work? And then with those two questions in mind, what do I just kind of want to consider and maybe try to do a little bit differently this upcoming week? It's not huge ways that I want to tweak each week, but just a little bit. Like, what do I want to lean into a little bit? What do I want to try to do a little bit differently? Over the course of time, you know, if you can slowly, slowly lean into more of the things that are working and really um, try to eliminate the things that aren't working, I think over the long haul, that can be a really good exercise. So that's been encouraging for me. And then another thing that's been really helpful is to try to extend the time horizon in which I'm expecting results. So instead of just looking at the outputs on a daily or weekly basis, say, okay, yes, there's gonna be some weeks or maybe even months that maybe I didn't accomplish as much as I was wanting to, but if I can instead say my time horizon, if I'm consistent with the right inputs and my time horizon is months and years, then, then that's accomplishable. And so I guess like another way of saying is try to give yourself grace and keep going and have patience with yourself. And so those four things have been super helpful. And so I would love to hear from you in the comments section if this resonates with you or if you've had setbacks uh, lately or any time in the past or maybe right now that have discouraged you because I think it would be so cool um, to read a comment section full uh, of notes from people raising their hands say, you're not alone. Yeah, this is my story or this is what has been encouraging to me. I was so encouraged this last week. I sent out an email um, kind of sharing these same thoughts that I'm sharing this video right now and just said, hey, just want to let you know 
if you're experiencing a setback or you are in the future, you're not alone. I'll raise my hand and say, I'm right there with you and here's what I'm doing about it. Um, and I got so many encouraging responses that I wanted to make this video to hopefully take take what I got to experience in email and, and kind of put it um, in the YouTube comment section and things. And so um, if you would like to receive emails from me, I don't send out emails very much, but if you just kind of want generally, hey, when I do send an email once a month or twice a month, it's usually like encouraging stuff or cool tools I found or things I'm learning, stuff like that. You can go to airplaneacademy.com slash updates, and that'll just kind of get you on the general list whenever I do send out uh, an update or that sort of thing. I feel, I've been reflecting on this a lot lately, like I'm, I'm really grateful to have grown up around aviation and have a, a dad and a mom and, and others that have encouraged me to pursue aviation. And the more people I meet, the more I realize that that isn't the normal story. And so there's many of you watching um, that probably don't have an encouraging voice in your life saying, yeah, I'm a pilot, I've done it, you should do it too. Um, and so if I could just be that voice for you, that tiny little motivating voice, hopefully one of many uh, for you, I want to be that. So I just updated the banner of my YouTube channel and the description and things that, that I, yeah, I'm gonna talk about airplane ownership and the things I've learned and like all these different topics, but the common denominator of all of it is that I really want to encourage you. I want my comments to be, uh, you know, my comment section to be a place of encouragement that you can find to hopefully kind of be a tailwind for you, so to speak, in your aviation journey. So I hope this video was a small, uh, small way of doing that, and I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. All right, let's use that.